Let's walk through how to connect GitLab with Jira software. This is gonna help you bring in your Git commits, pull requests, tags, and branches into Jira and make them visible to all your users there. It'll also help developers create branches and pull requests directly from Jira issues. Uh, the method we're gonna use to make the connection works with all host types of GitLab and Jira. So whether you're on cloud or self-managed, uh, this is gonna work for you. The first thing we're gonna do is go out to the Atlassian Marketplace and grab the Git integration for Jira app. Do that here and select our site. And then once that is added, we'll come back into our Jira project and set up the integration. All right, we're back in Jira. We're gonna to go to our project, uh, go to the apps drop down, and now we can select Git Integration, Manage Integrations. From here, we'll click Add Integration. And then, like I mentioned before, whether we're on cloud or self-managed, we can choose that. We're gonna go cloud here. And I'm gonna connect with a personal access token. Uh, now, if you are not the right person to set up this integration, uh, maybe you wanna share the app control with someone else, we can actually go back and on the left-hand side, go to manager permissions, and we can add other Jira users as admins just for the application. So this will give them permissions to go and set up the integration and then change and manage the app settings. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and do it ourselves here. So I'll go back to manage integrations, go to GitLab. I'm gonna use a personal access token and I'll copy that and paste it back in. Once we connect, we should see a list of our repositories and we can choose to connect any or all of them that are there. Um, we can also choose to connect any future uh, repositories that are added. So if we don't want to come back in here and manually choose them, anytime a new repository gets added, we can automatically connect to it. Now, if you don't want to use your own personal access token, you could obviously set up a service account um, and create the connection with that as well. So once we create the connection, um, we're going to see we have one repository that gets connected. It's going to go through an index that repository and make the connections between your development and the Jira issues. So the way those connections are made is anytime a developer creates a branch or a commit message, they're gonna to wanna to include the Jira issue key within that commit message. Uh, once they do that, it'll marry them up and this gets re-indexed periodically and you can also use webhooks to make sure that it's uh, indexing in real time as well. So let's quickly take a look at some of the settings we can change now that we have our first integration. Uh, in general settings here, all sorts of options to enable or disable certain features of the integration, um, and also set some default values, for instance, uh, default branch name template. So if your team uses a certain naming convention, uh, every time they go to create a branch uh, from the interfaces here, it can default to that naming convention so people don't need to remember it or type it in every single time. Uh, but now that we have our connection, let's go ahead back to our project and look at some issues. Uh, so now we see our issues again. From this view, we'll be able to see some additional information now. Uh, merge requests, branches created, commits, and then we can jump into the individual issues to see additional information. So from here, a couple of things, like I mentioned, you can create a branch. Uh, so if you're a developer and you need to create a branch for this issue after it's been assigned to you, very easy, just click create branch. You'll be able to select your repository and name it and then go create that branch and that'll go and kick off that process in GitLab. Uh, as a user, you can also change your defaults. So your default repository or source branch, uh, just so to make it easier every time you come back in here. Uh, but once a issue has development activity, you'll see it in a couple of locations. Uh, you'll see it up here in the development panel. You'll see it down here in the Git integration panel. And then you'll also have these options down here, git commits and git rollup. Uh, so every commit that is made on this issue will show up here. Um, it'll give you lots of information on who committed it, when they made the commit, uh, all the files that are changed, what was the volume of code that was changed, so lines added, changed, um, or removed. And then you have links out to view the commit in GitLab 
or you could actually just open a diff within Jira without leaving. You also get a Git rollup here. So if there's uh, multiple people contributing to this or a person that's working on it, um, you'll be able to see when they first commit, when they last committed, and then a rollup of all the changes that were made. So all the files that were changed, if there was five different files, and then again, the uh, volume of code that was changed uh, based on lines of code in here as well. So this is looking at development information from a single issue view. One of the nice things is you can go to this git commits page and this will show you a sequential list of all the commits that are made for this uh, project. So rather than diving into every single issue to look at the development activity, you can come here and say, what are the latest issues uh, people were working on where they actually made commits? Um, and that'll show up in here. If you are using GitLab CI CD, I also recommend picking up the free extension. Uh, if we go to Git Crack in here to see the additional apps. So Git integration for Jira has uh, some free extensions for it. CI CD for Jira, that'll bring in your build and deployment information into those Jira views. Uh, super helpful so that people know the issue's actually been included in a build and then deployed to a test or production environment. And then Team Insights for Jira, also a free extension. Uh, this gives you a much better planning view. Uh, it gives you a timeline planning view with Git activity as well as Jira activity uh, plotted along it. So again, instead of jumping into every single issue, you know, opening up 10 different tabs, uh, this will show you a timeline view and you'll be able to see pull requests, um, commits along a bunch of issues at one time. So let's jump into Team Insights for Jira just very quickly to give an overview of that. Um, one particular view that's helpful is the backlog view, and this will organize uh, this timeline by sprints. So these blue bars here indicate the duration of a sprint. So if you're running two week sprints, this would span two weeks. And then on this timeline, you'll see these boxes, and that's gonna in indicate some sort of activity happened. So on this sprint level, this will tell us days that uh, issues were added um, or removed from this sprint and all sorts of information on that particular sprint. If we expand that sprint, we'll be able to see all the issues that are included within it. Um, so from here, you know, if you think you're coming up on the, or imagine you're coming up on the end of a sprint, you're gonna wanna see all your issues in the green status. Um, if you see something that's in progress, but you're not actually seeing any activity boxes here, you know, that's a good time potentially to follow up with the person it's assigned to and say, hey, I'm not seeing any activity on this issue, what's going on? Um, so just like on the sprint level, we can also see on the issue level as well by mousing over these boxes. We could see the pull request on this day. Uh, this was opened and then closed a day later. Uh, we can expand this, see additional information. If we wanted to see Jira comments, we can look at those there as well. Uh, so as I mentioned before, this is another way to see your Git activity in Jira, uh, but it's a much easier way to kind of plan and figure out things that need attention. So Git integration for Jira and the extensions have a lot more capabilities to them, um, but all in all, it's a really helpful way to bring your Git information into Jira, uh, make life easier for your planners, um, give them visibility into what's going on with development so they can answer their own questions and also leave developers alone. And if they do have to um, follow up with them, they have a bit more information of which to have a productive conversation with. Uh, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.